Well, hello everybody. It's August 1st. Yes, that's right. It's August 1st. It's time to shave. I have not shaved with a normal, quote unquote, normal razor in about four days. I've been so lazy. I've just been, you know, giving, giving it a once over with the, uh, uh, the uh, electric razor. And uh, now it's time to shave for real. All right. And we're going to shave with this this razor that I got, I believe I got this from DNS Cosmetics a while back. They sent it to me. It's made in China. It's the DSD point eight dash C. So I don't know. You're not going to find this anywhere. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to use it because it looks cool. It's brass. It's kind of brass color. Oh, it's probably not really brass, but it's a three piece. Let's load this sucker up. It does kind of have this kind of vintage look and feel to it, which is what I like. And I tried that copper one. Do you remember the one I used, the copper one? Absolutely gorgeous. I tried shaving with that recently and it was terrible. I hated it. So oh, it's like, I want to love it so much because it's, it's, it's visually beautiful. All right, we're going to use a Bic blade this time. Why? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to use a Bic. I've always had good, good luck with Bic blades and you can find them. This, this is the kind that, uh, it's the three piece razor. It's only got the single post on the top. I wish that they kept all three posts together. This one has two little nubbins. You see the nubbins? Nubbin posts? <laughs> and then you put it like that. And then you guys know what to do. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, but uh, oh, this could you actually use a spacer. I wonder, I think this might've come with a spacer. Well, this is a bit weird. It's a bit, there we go. It's a bit cockeyed there. Gotta make sure I don't turn it into a slant razor when it's not supposed to be. I wonder if I need to put the spacer in there. Well, it seems like it's going in a little too, too far. Well, don't mind me folks. All right, let me see if I can get this in here. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think that just about got it. And I'm gonna use this little spacer here. It's a little circle. It's like one of those, uh, what do they used to call those things in school? Uh, reinforcements. For, so if your binder, you know, if the, uh, the loose leaf paper ripped, you could put a little reinforcer on there and it would save it. Okay, there is no blade o-hang, which I like, so I can tighten the head. All right. I think that looks okay. It looks a bit off. Yeah, hold on a second. That, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. I need to. I might need to uh, swap out and use the Rockwell like I was gonna do. But I found this one in the drawer. I was like, I am using. I'm gonna make this happen, folks. By gum. Oh gosh, I hope I can make this happen, folks. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this razor if it's that hard to get it to the blade to be straight. That's why you need the three big posts, not two little nubbins on one side and a post on the other. Okay, manufacturers, think about that next time. Okay, so we got a big blade, we got a Chinese razor that you're never gonna find. Uh, I'm gonna lather up with this blood red, I hope, hope there's not more blood shed, uh, blood red synthetic that I got from, where'd this one come from? Oh, this is also DS Cosmetics. There you go, they, you know, they've forgotten all about me. They don't want to make any more Sinatra Leonard signature brushes, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's going on over there? I don't mind, really. Anyway, and uh, so I got a few shout outs today. And one shout out is to a gentleman in Brazil named Danilo Agus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Danilo Agus. This is your pre-shave shout out. Look at this. I've got some Brazilian shaving cream that was sent to me a while back. A while back. And it's got... It's got mentolado. It's mentholated. Yeah, it's got menthol in it. Ooh, yeah, it smells kind of good. It smells, it reminds me a little bit of an Arco type deal. This is Palmindaya. And Danilo, you might be able to find this down there where you are. It's a cute little squishy bottle of shaving cream. Anyway, that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna lather up with that. I took a shower, I did my hair, I got my hair cut. And then, oh, the aftershave, Cella. Lozione dopo barba. This is the green one, and I haven't used this much. I think this thing has been leaking. It's been laying on its side in the box with everything else, or in the uh, safe suitcase. I think it's leaking. You see that one drip that just dripped? Yeah, I think I might uh, might jettison this. It's got little things floating around inside of it. You see those little sea monkeys? What the heck is going on? Yeah, this is this was never great stuff. It's just. It was given to me and I appreciate it, but I'm not gonna use it anymore. It's leaking and it's got sea monkeys in it. Yeah. Gonna recycle, this is the box that comes in by the way. It's the green one. I don't know what scent it is. Aloe vera, uh, refreshing and um, tonificante. So I'm not sure what that is. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. 
It does smell kind of good. It smells like a uh, like a manly kind of retro aftershave fragrance, you know? That's what it kind of smells like to me. Just a little, speaking of bugs, some sort of little bug on the wall, like a gnat. Okay, so for Danilo in Brazil, let's do this. So for something like this, I got my brush down here, it's all wet, and I'm gonna kind of fluff up the end just a little bit. <laughs> Not fling water all over everything. All over creation, so I'm just gonna squeeze it so it comes out the top, see? And I'm gonna kind of run the brush across here. It's probably, you could scoop this out of here, put it in a bowl, it'd probably be a lot better than what I'm doing, but you know. I gotta be me. I gotta do it the hard way. Cause I'm lazy and I don't wanna wash out bowls. <laughs> oh gosh, it's, okay. It smells good, yeah. It, it reminds me of like an Arco kind of scent like slightly chemical, slightly medicinal, but also soapy and a, with a little bit menthol. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Smear it around a little bit, dip it in the water some. Now, if you have any on your fingers, just rub it up on your face, see? Don't, don't let it go to waste. Waste not, want not, as they say. Do they still say that? I don't know. Well, hi everybody, how you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Hmm, this stuff, I'm not a big fan of the scent. Not a big fan of that scent. But it's all right. It's lathering beautifully. I think it's a pretty good uh, shaving soap, and I'm sure there's people in Brazil that absolutely swear by it. So go for it. All right. There you have it. I always scoop around the bottom and put it back on top. Waste not, want not. Oof. Yeah. Not a huge fan of the scent. Not a huge fan. That's okay. All right, let's try the, the brass, Chinese, you know, DS Cosmetics, whatever. <laughs> don't worry about trying to find it. I did a review of this like a couple of years ago or maybe a year ago, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, let's see here. How far, we gotta clear the runways. I don't normally have to do that, but since I just got my hair cut, I don't think I've shaved up, and because I haven't used a razor, I haven't shaved up next to my new sideburn levels yet. Okay, I think I got the blade just about right. Hmm. It's not feeling, I'm not feeling real confident with it, but it's got interesting ridges. It's ridged for your pleasure, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. It feels like it's leaving stuff behind. Like I can't quite get the angle right. I'm going to keep going though. I'm not giving up. It's kind of a shame after so many days of not using a safety razor to <laughs> grab one that's like, no, oh, I don't really like this one. Oh boy. First world safety razor problems, that's for sure. So I got the whole family back. Kids and the wife and everything. So they're all back in the house, which is nice. They were gone for almost two weeks. And which is good, which is good, you know. It's great to have alone time and all. But after a while, you're like, ugh, what am I going to do with myself? And I end up being boring. Oh, boring old fart. <laughs> all right, we got some shout outs. What a, wow, what a way to go into shout outs. So, uh, oh, we got Steve KN4Pop. Steve KN4Pop, shout out to you. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, I don't like this razor. I mean, it's leaving a lot of stuff where it shouldn't. I gotta get the angle right, man. Maybe it's the spacer. Maybe I need to take that spacer out. <sighs> okay. I'm impressed on, folks. It may have made it too, well, I, would it make it milder? I don't know. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not sure, not sure. All right, you know what? I am gonna take the spacer out. I'm just gonna take the spacer off. There it is. Put it back up here for later use. See if that changes the feel before I go any further. Make sure the blade's still on there. All right, I'm gonna tighten it down as far as it'll go. All right, maybe this one prove it. Let's see. No, feels about the same. It feels like it's kind of skittering across my whiskers. You know what I mean? It's like not digging in. Like the Rockwell, there's something about it. I've been using this fairly recently and it just digs in and like you can tell it's mowing those whiskers down. This one feels like it's just kind of going I don't know. I'm having no luck with uh, copper slash gold slash brass colored razors recently, I guess. I'm drawn to them, 
but they're not giving me the shaves that I want. Do you guys have a type? Do you have a razor type? Do you prefer brunettes, blondes, redheads, bald? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of razor is yours? What's your favorite type of razor? That's what I want. All right, so there's the first pass. <laughs> Put some more hot water up here. Oh yeah, I got a ton of whiskers up here. You know, that's always my test, just to see. Okay, let's get back into the Palmandaya Brazilian shaving cream. Smells a little chemical-y. Doesn't have very much menthol at all. I'm not detecting much of a coolness. I mean, just a hint, just a, just a mild hint of it. But it seems to lather all right. You know, I didn't use a ton and it's still got plenty of good stuff coming up there. Okay, we got some more shout outs, folks. That's right. We got Sculpture Barber Studio in Warminster, Pennsylvania. I think that's probably not far from where my wife uh, grew up, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not 100% on, on Warminster. But uh, shout out to Sculpture Barber Studio next time I'm up there. I should go up there. <laughs> How far are you from, uh, say, like New Hope slash Lambertville? That's a good. Uh, that's a good kind of barometer for distance. Warminster. I keep wanting to pronounce it Warminster, but that wouldn't be Pennsylvania. It'd probably be Wooderminster. Get into the wall wall. Get some water ice. And Hagee, down by the Schuylkill River. One of my favorite things is <laughs> Tina Fey doing her Pennsylvania kind of Philly accent. I love it. And uh, if you ever, guys ever watch something called The Kroll Show, K-R-O-L-L, -L, Nick Kroll, he did a sketch comedy show and he did Pondsylvania. So it was like a, a pond, like a Pond Stars parody. One pawn shop was in Pittsburgh, the other was in Philly. And they're just doing the, the subtle differences in that those Pennsylvania accents. Pawn-Sylvania. Check it out on YouTube. When you're done with this one, go check out The Kroll Show. You got a bunch of other good characters. Funny stuff. Funny stuff. Oop, don't turn off yet. I got two more. Yeah, two more shout-outs. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not... I'm not this. I don't know why I kept this in the drawer because normally when I uh, like a razor, I'll keep it right here and then I'll just revisit it. This one's going into the uh, the pile, into the pile, <laughs> into the container. Because I still got lots of stuff going. On. Oh gosh. All right. Well, let's do a third pass. See if we can salvage this. Is everybody getting ready for back to school? Whether you're a student or a parent, going to college, I was, we were on campus yesterday, the University of Texas campus, we were getting lunch in what they call West Campus, where all the, like, um, sororities and fraternities and uh, condos and apartments and everyone was starting to move in. So exciting. So I remember the, when my dad dropped me off, I was, uh. He was there for a couple of days. This was in 1988. I think we went up in August. The school starts, you know, here at least mid-August to late August. Now it's like August 12th or something. So anyway, so dad, uh, dad and I drove up from Houston and we got here and he, we were staying in a hotel and stuff. And then, you know, we were checking me into my dorm, which would... Turn out to be just the one of the my most favorite years ever. <laughs> Hanging out in the dorm my freshman year of college, I met so many great people, and I'm still friends with a bunch of them. So that was fantastic. But I do remember when he left me on the steps of that dorm, and he's like, "All right, see you later," and that was it. And he was going back to Houston or Dallas. I can't remember where he was living at the time. I'm in Chicago actually. Anyway, and then I was all alone. I was always up to, it was up to me. Whew. The only other time I got a feeling like that was when we came home with a, from the hospital with our first son. And there weren't any nurses around helping you out. There weren't any doctors helping you out. It was just, you're on your own, the two of you. Figure it out. <laughs> I hope you're ready. 
and you're so gingerly giving them a bath, their first bath when they're home, you know, you've got them laid out on the bed, they don't want, don't let them get cold. But after a while, you're like, oh, okay. And when the second one comes along, psh, pshaw. Of course, they probably get a little bit of the short end of the stick, you know, the middle child or the second child. But that's what life is, right? All these moments where it's up to you. You're on your own, kid. Figure it out. Do your best. Do your best. Hopefully you got a, a good support structure out there of family or friends or people or, you know, classmates, workmates that you can talk to if you ever have problems. If you need help, just shout it out. Somebody will be there to help you. Okay, all right, so we got two more shout-outs. Clark, oh, he turned 41. I can't remember when you turned 41. I think it was on Friday or Saturday, but happy belated birthday to you, Clark, with an E. Happy 41st birthday. Yep, I remember when I turned 41. Barely, I barely remember it. That's when I had a kid. Oof, I was too old, I swear. I'm getting too old for this, you know what. <laughs> Being in my 50s and having kids. Man, there's a ton of whiskers left. I don't, yeah, this razor, I'm not sure. I don't know. I need to go back and see what I thought of it when I first used it. Hopefully I didn't like love it or something. Jeez. Or maybe it was the Bic. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, let's wash off here. Get some of that cella. Man. I'm gonna have to, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta take care of some of the stuff with the Rockwell. Oh man, it, you hear that? I mean, it's like it found a whole new crop of, of whiskers to, sh to shave. Good grief. You hear that? It's almost like I didn't do just do three passes. Wow. Okay. All right. Just ultra, ultra mild or something. I don't think I loaded the blade wrong or anything. All right. Let's call it quits, shall we? Put that back in there. Take the... Ugh. Sorry, little brass colored razor, but you're going in the bin. Chucking them in the bin. I'm not even going to clean it up. I'm just going to put it in there grungy. And if I give it away to somebody, then uh, <laughs> good luck. All right. Hold on. I'm going to put this in my blade bank. This 3D printed blade bank that was sent to me not too long ago. I've been using it a lot. Sharps. Sharps? Yes, sharps. Okay, let me wash off, dry off, wash the brush out, and then we'll use some of the cella. I just like pronouncing, I don't know proper Italian pronunciation. I could do Spanish, and you know, they're similar, similar. They're related, they're all Latin based, right? The Romance languages. But I'm sure there's rules that I don't know about both languages, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, this one is also going in the bin probably because it's leaking and it smells fine. It does smell good actually. I do like the smell. It is like a classic men's aftershave fragrance cologne type deal. Mmm, I actually do kind of like it. And I'm not a big fan of like the, the cologne smelling aftershaves, but that was pretty good. And there was no hint of a burn. I'm wondering if it's the little plastic insert that's doing it or the cap. Here's what I'm gonna do. Before I just chuck it, I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna dry it off. I'm gonna do a little test here, folks. I'm gonna put it in the sink upside down and see if anything leaks out. Okay, it's pretty dry. I'm gonna put it over here in the corner and just leave it and we'll see. We'll see, we'll give you another chance. I think I'll just recycle this, I don't need. So anyway, there you go. Oh, we got one more, what? One more final shout out. Last but not least, Goat Romper 69. Hey, you know, that's your screen name. <laughs> so shout out to Goat Romper 69. Whew, that's an interesting one. But shout out to you. As I like to call you, GR69. Okay, everybody. That's it for me. I hope you have a great week. I hope you shave happily. And if you haven't shaved yet, I hope you try it out. If you never use one of these, don't use this one. All right, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.